The most important thing about the motion appliance is the anchorage considerations. There's three options. Option one is to use a clear vacuum retainer, then bond a molar tube on the distal molar. doesn't wear the vacuum retainer there's a lot of heavy force going just on one tube so personally I like to use a lingual arch some of my colleagues rather than a lingual arch like to place a tad and they place the tad in the superior oblique ridge any of those three anchorage situations allow you then to place your elastic from your motion appliance to the lower arch and you get very rapid tooth movement if you're distal driving on one side, you still need to place the motion on the other side. And the reason for that is because you want to prevent center line shifts, you don't want to cause an occlusal cant, and it just boosts your energy. What I do is ask the patient on the side that I'm not actively distal driving to wear a six ounce elastic just at night time. On this side, we start with the six, we go to the eight, sometimes we double up the elastic, whatever it needs to happen. But we're holding our anchorage and we're preventing those unwanted movements. So don't be confused that if you're um, disdriving on one side, you think you only need one motion appliance. You actually need both. A common mistake doctors uh, will do is they'll only measure one side and they'll order two of that side. The sizes on the right and the left may not always be the same.